prostate cancer is the commonest cancer in men in the United Kingdom with over 47,000 cases a year and sadly 11,000 men will die of the disease and we know that if you find the disease earlier it's much more easily treated, it's much easier to cure it. The dilemma with screening is that up until now we've only had a blood test called PSA and if you do a single PSA in men in the population aged over 55, just over 10% of them need a prostate biopsy and uh, the tumours that are found in the main are quite indolent, that, so they're not actually going to affect the man in his lifetime. So screening is picking up disease that's not aggressive. And uh, the two presentations at this conference this year from our group and our collaborations have shown that first of all there are some common genetic variants in the population that can be used to stratify risk. So now for the first time we can use a saliva test that has many genetic variants within it that can actually risk stratify in the general population. We're currently uh, doing some studies to see if such stratification will enable us to find more aggressive disease and if it did do so, it could alter the way that we could offer screening in a screening programme. The second presentation, which is the interim results of the IMPACT study, which is an international collaboration of 65 centres in 20 countries, has shown that if we find men with a relatively rare genetic mutation, it's a mutation in a gene called BRCA2, and up till now it's mainly been found in women with an increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer but if their male relatives carry this mutation that if we offer annual PSA screening from the age of 40 this time we are actually picking up more aggressive disease they have nearly twice the amount of aggressive disease that would be likely to impact on mortality furthermore we're not over biopsying these men Unlike in general population screening, only about half the men need a biopsy, so we're really targeting screening to those men that are most likely to benefit because we, for fewer biopsies we're actually finding twice the amount of aggressive disease.